What's up, everybody? I'm from Joe the Wookie here. I tell like a is again. I guess y'all heard about Phil Robinson being. Uh, they took him off suspension and put him back on the show. Now they try to figure out if their Duck Dynasty is gonna stay or won. After they took Phil Robinson off suspension because of the whole being gay is a sin comment and the whole when he was young he worked with black folks and they never sung the blue I'm going to say like kiss me the, the black thing never bought him eating no, no mind because one thing is look as long as he didn't say nigga or something like that I'm cool with when he said the whole black ordeal he said it when he was young and he worked on his family farm he worked with black folks and said he didn't hear them sing the blues about welfare. Now, that they seem happy and no okay. It's like, okay, this is back in the 50s. Like, back then, you had, to, there was, like, you had several things. Black folks didn't get to walk on sidewalks. You had, uh, or was it black folks still get ridiculed for being whatever, being darker? He didn't say, oh, they love the chicken and watermelon and all this and that. I seen a guy on, they posted up on, uh, there's a guy on here on YouTube. They posted a video that's blank that's actually taken up for him because he didn't think the racial remark was really racial. And I kind of agree with him. I don't, I'm not mad about what he said. He says back in the day, he really didn't hear them sing the blues or call him white trash. But this whole thing about this gay thing, uh, I still kind of wonder the, what's the deal on that because I've talked to several people that are my friends and I still question that. I said, look, just because he said it was a sin, like, I know it's in the, the Bible says man should not lay down with man. Yeah, it kind of says that in the Bible, man should not lay down with man. It didn't say it's a sin, but they want to use that as a weapon oh he's a homophobic he shouldn't he he be gay but it's in the bible it says man should not lay down with men and then they want to use that whole religious thing to throw back at him and he says you should not have long hair and a beard like did you ever think what Jesus really looked like back in the day he had nappy hair and y'all criticize like for real y'all is worse than it when they started criticizing Phil Robinson about his facial hair, about him having a beard and all this and that, y'all was just as just as judgmental as the people that says uh, calling gay people fags, fairies, and all this shit. Same as when you call a a black person a nigga or a coon, you're just as judgmental as those people when they make fun of his looks. You know better than the people making fun of his looks or his family's look when they compare oh this is what they look like before TV this is what they look like after TV you're no better than the people that's passing judgment on people's skin color or the sexual sexuality or their religions you're no better I kind of agree about how with some of them about you go around like I kind of agree with some of them because you got to remember, hey, reality TV is fake. It's scripted. Everybody knows. I still love watching Duck Dynasty because to me, I laugh at them because they're making me laugh. You got to remember, it's on TV. And y'all sit up there, and then one guy sits up there, and I ain't going to talk bad about this guy. That There's one guy, uh, forgot his name, but uh, I don't remember it. Talks about how. Talks about oh they make rednecks look stupid. That's like hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm sitting there kind of laughing. I'm sitting there laughing my ass off at this because I thought it was kind of funny. It's like you sit up here and say that the cast of Doug Dynasty makes black not black folks but rednecks look stupid. It makes them like a bunch of rednecks. And I'm make, no, he says it makes redneck look stupid. And I was kind of, that's what he said, he said, the, the Duck Dynasty show makes rednecks look stupid. That's like, are you kidding me about this? 
are his name is Colt of Dusty. I think that's his name, Colt of Dusty. I'm not gonna talk bad about this Colt of Dusty because I don't know this guy, but this is what he said. He says the cast of Doug Dynasty makes rednecks look look stupid. I'm sitting there laughing. I was like, for real. I don't give a fuck if they putting on the show or not. I don't give a fuck if the beer is real or fake, man. I'm getting a laugh out because they being silly. Plus, like, I try to sit there and compare to certain shows together. It's like, okay. Now, look at it. It's like, you say that, <coughs> excuse me, you say that Duck Dynasty makes rednecks look stupid. And you're for a redneck. I was like, like, you got a beard too, but you got a beard. It's not longer than Phil Robinson, but you got a beard and you sit there and say, Rednecks look stupid because of the show. And you're not saying nothing about Honey Boo Boo, just like, are you for real? I'm telling you, the cast of Doug Dynasty is guys with beards that got camouflaged and got money making duck calls. And you don't say nothing about Honey Boo Boo Child, little fat, roly poly, retarded ass redneck child that can't say spaghetti. And all spaghetti is to her is ketchup and noodles. And you say that Duck Dynasty makes rednecks look bad. Okay, good luck with that. It's like saying white people make black folks look bad. It was like that, man. It's like, the, it's like apples and oranges, dude. It's like saying, oh. Rich rednecks make rednecks look retarded. Okay, rich rednecks got money, but retarded rednecks, this on TV named Honey Boo Boo Child make, make rednecks look smarter. Kind of, kind of cancel each other out, man. Because I kind of look at it like this. Hey, look, I don't give a fuck if they're rednecks or not, man, but they play one on TV. They play one on TV. And they make rednecks look good because they get all this money in their pocket for making duck call. Then the guy goes on talking about how they make the duck call and make, make these duck calls so they can molest the ducks. It's like, are you, are you sure about that? That you're not making rednecks look retarded with the statement that you just said with making other duck calls and bestiality shit? It's like, you the one talking about these people fucking ducks and shit. It's like, are you for real about that? That's kind of like a stand back and look at it ordeal. But it's like this, though. <laughs> it's like this. I've been saying it all along about this whole GQBS. We was never, nobody was in the room when he said this ordeal. We was never in the room with this reporter writing down anything. It was never there, so quit bu- <laughs> Sound like a bunch of bullshit motherfucker that's on, just retarded on crag and then got fucked in the booty holes every time. <laughs> Look, man. Like I said, it was, nobody was in the room except for Phil Robinson and that reporter. There was the only two people that was in that room, so there was the only two people that know what was said. That's the truth. We was never in that room. You got to remember, a reporter that's writing for a damn newspaper or a tabloid can write down any damn thing he wants and put a damn twist on it. In the last video I said about this whole ordeal, 30% of the of what they print is the truth. The rest is just bull, bullshit. Like I said, we don't know what was said in that room. The first thing y'all people do is jump on the bandwagon when the media the newspaper starts saying something stupid. They can say the grass is green, the sky, they can say the sky is green, and the grass is blue, and y'all will believe it because y'all damn fucking retarded to believe in stupid shit that a magazine can print out, or a newspaper, or what the media tells you. You gotta remember something. You gotta stop believing in what the media tells you, because if you don't, you gonna, well, if you don't, you, well, I forgot, people are stupid when they start believing what the media and the the media and the tabloids say. That's all it is. People believe in this. If you believe in it, you're stupid. They can say a damn nine-year-old child was hit by a bus, and they can show the picture of the nine-year-old child laying out in the street. And the damn, you can see the nine-year-old child that was in the newspaper walk past you, 
and it's not a, and that's the only child of you believe any like I don't get about people people believe in what the news people print and they know for a fact that the newspaper lies they don't never never second guess about oh should I believe this or should I not oh but I'm gonna believe it anyway because it's in the paper and that's all it is the newspaper print anything and like I said before I say nobody came out when Alec Baldwin called a photographer a fag but NBC sister show MSNBC canceled his show because he made that statement to the photographer he called him a fag but when Tracy Morgan made that statement about oh if his son was gay if his son was gay, he'll punch him in the throat. I ain't see nobody down in NBC saying cancel 30 Rock. I didn't see that. I didn't see nobody down in NBC. Oh, we want to cancel 30 Rock. Right? I ain't see, no, see nobody down there bitching and complaining and hoops and all this and that. That's what I'm questioning about. One man says the scene, but y'all ready to jump the gun. And boycott the fuck out of Duck Dynasty when a, when a black man says, I'm a punching motherfucking throw if he's punching my son in the throat if he's gay. Y'all don't say a damn thing. Now tell me something I don't know. Black folks didn't like, what was it? When, when homosexuals wanted to go out and get married, what did black folks do? <laughs> About like 50% of them turned the back on and said, black folks, no, 50% of black folks turned the back on homosexuals and said, gay people should not get married. And ain't nobody question that. The other 50% of black folks was already just, when I, was up, well, 50% of, the other 50% of black folks are already enough to say, we support gay marriages. Because they either got a gay relative they support and love, or they gay themselves. But you see what I'm saying? When you sit up there and you think about it, Y'all is y'all is no different from the people that says all this shit. Y'all, he Phil Robinson didn't walk around calling nobody a, a fairy, a fag, a queer, a booty chaser, coochie chaser, whatever. No sexual, no homosexual racial slurs, or he didn't go around calling black folks niggers and all this shit. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. You just believe what the paper tells you. The paper could tell you a bunch of bullshit and you believe it. It shouldn't matter what the... It's like, look, the whole... They need to, people want to talk about all oh, this freedom of speech. Well, well, this is the United States of America. You gotta... If y'all can sit up there and now certain websites to post pictures of dead babies and dead kids all over it then you can allow one man to make his make a statement or comment or voice his opinion in this country because it seems right now the people of America rather see pictures of dead babies and dead kids than listen to some man with a beard and looks like a skinny Santa Claus that's what it looks like Oh, we're going to jump Phil Robinson because he said homosexuality is him, but we can sit there and bust a nut to dead babies. That's what y'all doing today. Y'all don't mind sitting up there watching dead babies on the websites, but y'all rather jump the gun and cuss out Phil Robinson because he said homosexuality was a sin. Then it morphed from homosexuality behavior to bestiality. That's all he said. He didn't, he didn't say nothing else. But like I said, he's been not, he's he's not suspended no more. He's there. Duck Dynasty's the cast of Duck Dynasty don't know if they want to leave or stay. And if they if they leave, man, that's ain't his ass. Cause one thing is, <coughs> you gotta remember this: a network is a network is a company. Every show is a product. Same with fast food joints. Every fast food, you know, yes, because fast food joints are, are 
put out products. But you got to remember, if I walk into McDonald's and I eat me a cheeseburger, and I get sick of that cheeseburger. Now, and I sue McDonald's. I go to new media and say, I got sick of their food. McDonald's got several things to do. A, figure out if I'm telling the truth. That's A. And B, go see what's up with the food, what's wrong with the meat, what's, what's wrong with the product. That's that's one thing they got. That's the two things they got to do. That's an investigation. They got to investigate what happened. If the food was poisoned, the food wasn't right, out of date. Am I telling the truth in the line, or am I scamming to get money, or what? It's just like that. See, if I was if I was A and E, and this and I had one uh, a celebrity just the face uh, this, this the face of my company say in the newspaper he said hey, homosexuality is a sin I gotta do what McDonald's did I gotta go and see what was said I gotta call uh, see what was printed I gotta see what can I do to fix it or something I gotta investigate the situation but which A&E did not do if I was gonna be in that situation I would have put their show on hold for one and don't run reruns because they don't run reruns they didn't sit there and investigate what was really saying what was printed and what happened before I start letting anything air on TV I gotta figure out what happened which A&E did not even do see what I'm saying because anybody, like I said, anybody can say something. you got to just figure out if it's the truth or a, a lie. That which A&E did not even do. He, they didn't see what was said. And if they recorded it, if A&E recorded the conversation to back it up, if they recorded and edited it and photoshopped the, the recording or whatever, how many witnesses was in the room, what was really printed, did they really take what he said out of context? Nobody did that. See, that's what happens, man, because they, they don't do that just to protect themselves. Like, one thing is, that's one thing is these networks never do to protect themselves or figure out what was said because they're stupid enough to let this happen. They really don't do it, investigate the situation. Justin Bieber can, like Justin Bieber is a product of a, of a network. No, a product of a record label. If he goes out and he punches, well, he did he did punch a kid in the punch a photographer in his face, or kick him in the face. They really didn't do nothing. They didn't know why he kicked this guy in the face. The guy could took a picture, bam, just to be kicks him in the face. But they never dropped him. Why is that? Why was nothing investigated to see what happened? They never do to protect themselves. <laughs> let's say, I, let's say, I win a contest. And I won a contest to meet Justin Bieber or some rapper. Let's say P Diddy, and P Diddy is at his studio, Bad Boy Record Label, and I want to take a picture, and he soccer punched me in my face. I can sue him and his company. Because he hit me while I was at his job, while he was on the clock. See what I'm saying? Ain't nobody never questioned this shit <laughs> about how, on what happened, what was said, what was done, what was did. All y'all did was sit up there and agree what the paper was saying. Ain't and E believe what the paper was saying. And it was like, are y'all fucking serious with this shit? Ain't nobody paid attention to what was said. <coughs> Excuse me about the coffee, but ain't nobody sit up there and question 
the damn magazine or are they really telling the truth or are they just lying and that's all I'm trying to say this has been Afro Joe 10 like a T.I. is I'm like one thing is I'm gonna say this before I even go I support him for I support Phil Robinson for freedom of speech for freedom of speech that's the only thing I'm supporting for because he has every right as an American citizen to practice what he believes plus I, he believes in the Bible that's his fucking business for the fuckers out there to sit up there and criticize him because what he said instead of bitching at something else, y'all like the rest of them fuckers out there that watch it, that rather look at pictures of dead babies because that's all the fuck you are, fucking baby, dead, dead baby lookers. Because y'all ain't sitting there really thinking about it. Y'all criticize a, a white man with a beard just on TV. Because he said homosexuality is sin instead of paying attention to them fuckers taking pictures of dead babies posting them up on the internet or them fuckers down the street raping babies. Y'all, or them fuckers that cyber bully them teen, uh, kids or bully them kids in school till they kill themselves. Y'all are like them. Y'all are like them. Because y'all bitching at the wrong fucking ordeal instead of bitching at something right. If I was y'all, if I, if I was y'all, I'd rather be bitching at these other fucking states that needs to pass gay marriages instead of bitching that's about some dude that says homosexuality is a sin. And that's how I see it, man. Because one thing is, I don't give a fuck if you're gay, straight, bi, whatever. It's your fucking business to do whatever you want. Besides break the fuck, besides break the law, that's one. Besides break the law, but that's how it is. That's how I see it. This has been Afro Joe Ten Like T A S. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior Two, Silo Junior Three. Follow me on Tumblr, Tumblr. Holla at me. Peace, love, and Afro Greece.